Yes. Good afternoon to all. Am I audible? Yes. Am I audible or no? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Is the screen visible? Yes, yes, sir. Yes. So in the last class, we have seen the projection with the, in the horizontal line. Correct? Huh? Projection in the horizontal line. So the case was the first case. Motion of the body projected horizontally. Okay. In the now, the second case we are moving. The case is inclined projection on the label ground. It means the ground is label. The ground is, it is label. Okay. And it is level. Then here you have to determine all the parameters. All the parameters. If there it is projected, consider there is a projectile. All of you draw this diagram. So this is a projectile on level ground. Whatever this is there, okay. This is level ground. This is level ground. Okay. So along the horizontal, I am taking it is X. And along uh, vertical direction, I am taking it is Y. So the particle is projected with a uniform uh, with a velocity inclined velocity in the direction of the projection it is u and the angle of inclination is it is alpha then starting point i am taking it is a and the point where the it is touching the ground it is called as b Then can you tell me what is this distance between A and B? Range. What is this? Can you tell me? Height. Height. That is maximum height. Height. The particle can travel. Correct? Yes. This is equal to R. R is equal to range. This is a point. This point is C. That is maximum point. I will consider one point, one point in which, in which, at any point P, it is having a com component x comma y. I'll draw this is maximum. All of you draw this diagram. This is important. Abhi diagram of course, you can understand all the terms. Now, write down. Consider the motion of the projectile. Consider. Consider the motion motion of a projectile of a projectile projectile projected from projected from point from a point A A with velocity, with velocity, velocity of projection, velocity of projection, projection, u, u, and, and angle of projection, and angle of projection 
angle of projection what is angle of projection alpha as shown in figure as shown in as shown in figure let the ground be horizontal surface let the ground be horizontal surface horizontal surface horizontal surface the particle has the particle has motion as motion in vertical in vertical as well as as well as horizontal direction horizontal directions horizontal directions so first one first one velocity uh, in vertical direction first one vertical direction vertical direction vertical direction initial velocity initial velocity all of you consider uh, look at the diagram so the particle is projected like this correct so uh, and it is having a velocity u in this direction okay this is u okay then it is having an inclination this is alpha okay i want in vertical projection vertical can you tell this is u in the alpha direction okay i want velocity in the vertical direction u sin alpha correct all of you then what is the velocity in the horizontal direction u cos alpha is it correct all of you yes sir yes, yes sir ah uh, right on initial velocity is equal to u sin alpha u sin alpha in which direction it is upward direction upward acceleration due to gravity acceleration due to gravity due to gravity acceleration due to gravity ha huh. it is equal to how much g is equal to 9.81 meter per second square meter per second square this g is it moving upward or downward upward direction okay it is moving so particle is in the vertical direction okay it is moving in upward direction so if the A particle is moving upward direction then g is it positive or negative 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 negative, negative. 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 some people are telling negative some people are telling positive negative ha ah. negative whenever you are coming towards the earth it is attracting no. g value is increasing okay ha ah, opposite to gravity ha ah. in the direction of the gravity it is positive the opposite to gravity is negative correct na so yes, now sir. particle is moving upward it means opposite to gravity correct this yes, g is negative deceleration deceleration is it correct deceleration yes sir yes so it means the particle is under deceleration therefore therefore acceleration a is given by that is minus g that is equal to minus 9.81 meter per second square hence initially hence initially the particle moves the particle moves upward velocity upward velocity 
हाँ कितना अपवर्ड वेलोसिटी यू साइन अल्फा यू साइन अल्फा यू साइन अल्फा एंड एंड रिटार्डेशन एंड रिटार्डेशन रिटार्डेशन हाँ हाउ मच इज द रिटार्डेशन क्या बोले रिटार्डेशन एक्सेलरेशन मीन्स वेन यूर जी इज इंक्रीजिंग पॉजिटिव डायरेक्शन रिटार्डेशन मीन्स इट इज डिक्रीजिंग ओके सो रिटार्डेशन इज नाइन पॉइंट एट वन मीटर पर सेकेंड से माइनस नहीं हाँ रिटार्डेशन लिखा तो माइनस नहीं लिखने का ओके रिटार्डेशन इट सेल्फ इंडिकेट दैट इट इज एक्सेलरेशन इज डिक्रीजिंग Retardation is nine point eight one meter per second. Have you written this much? Yes, yes, sir. Yes. Okay. See, initially uh, it is having u sine alpha, and it is going and at height. Okay. When this and it is having negative acceleration, correct? Yes. And the acceleration is retarding. So after some particular time, the retardation will become zero. When that is equal to zero. At the highest point, when this particle reaches the maximum height C, at C point, its velocity is equal to zero. Is it clear? Okay. So right on that point, velocity becomes zero. Velocity becomes becomes zero after some time. After some time. Sometimes is at C, at C, and the particle starts, and the particle starts moving, starts moving downward, downward with gravitational acceleration, downward with. Gravitational acceleration. Gravitational acceleration. So in the first one, we have seen vertical direction. Okay. Next, we will see in the horizontal direction. Have you written this much? Yes. Yes, sir. Next, second one. Second one, horizontal motion. Horizontal. motion see the particle is projected like this with velocity u can you tell me what is the horizontal velocity u cos, u cos alpha oh, yes okay right horizontal component of velocity horizontal component component of velocity of velocity is equal to u cos alpha u cos alpha u cos alpha neglecting neglecting air resistance air resistance air resistance we can say that we can say that we can say that the projectile is having the projectile is having the projectile is having uniform velocity uniform velocity kitna u cos u cos alpha u cos alpha u cos alpha during the its entire flight during its entire entire flight okay during its entire flight hmm? air resistance see whenever particle is moving there is air correct yes. but there is a resistance actually in actual field it is there is a resistance but in the analysis we are neglecting that one okay ha ah, it will be same 
बट वी आर नेग्लेक्टिंग एयर रेजिस्टेंस ऊपर जाते वक्त भी वी आर नेग्लेक्टिंग डाउनलोड आते वक्त भी वी आर नेग्लेक्टिंग बिकॉज दैट इज वेरी वेरी स्मॉल एज कम्पेयर टू द ग्रेविटी एयर रेजिस्टेंस वेरी स्मॉल हाँ फ्री फॉल्ट ओके इट इज वेरी लेस वेन एवर यूर थ्रोइंग एन यू ऑब्जेक्ट इन द अपर डायरेक्शन दैट इज मूविंग टू द सम हाइट एंड इट इज कमिंग डाउन बिकॉज ऑफ ग्रेविटेशन इट इज द इट्स एक्सेलरेशन इज रेड्यूसिंग बिकॉज ऑफ इट इज ग्रेविटेशन ओके नॉट एयर रेजिस्टेंस एयर रेजिस्टेंस वेरी वेरी स्मॉल एज कंपेर्ड टू द ग्रेविटेशन ओके इज इट क्लियर वर्टिकल डायरेक्शन एंड हॉरिजेंटल मोशन दिस इज नॉट अ वर्टिकल दिस इज वर्टिकल डायरेक्शन और वर्टिकल मोशन मोशन करें। नेक्स्ट वन इज सी वी हैव सीन वर्टिकल वी हैव सीन ऑरिजेंटल सो नेक्स्ट वन इज इक्वेशन फॉर द ट्रैजेक्टरी ए ट्रैजेक्टरी ना इट इज इन विच शेप पैराबोलिक तो हाउ यू आर टेलिंग इट इज अ पैराबोलिक वी शुड गेट सम इक्वेशन नो सो देन ओनली वी शुड से दैट इट इज अ पैराबोलिक सो नाउ वी विल सी दैट सी ऑल दिस फार्मूला इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट है बाय व्हिच वन u cos alpha u sin alpha दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट Okay, next u cos alpha is very important. Equation of trajectory is important. Next, right on. Equation of trajectory. Equation of trajectory. आपको derivation तो नहीं पूछते. Directly you should remember the formula. But वो formula कैसे आ गया? आपको पता रहने का इसके लिए. Let P, let P x comma y be the point uh, represents x comma y represents represents the position of a projectile. The position of a projectile. projectile after t seconds after t seconds after t seconds considering the vertical motion considering the vertical motion motion yes how to find out the vertical height Yes, your y is equal to your u. Uh, standard formula kya hai? Y is equal to s is equal to u t plus half a t square. Okay, in place of s, I am taking y. Y is equal to u t plus u t plus half a t square. This is your standard formula in the vertical direction. Okay, so in in our uh, condition, so when the particle is moving in the vertical direction, what is the initial velocity? U sine alpha. Is it correct? Yes, sir. U sine alpha. This is initial velocity. Okay. Then time is t. Correct. Plus. Then. Okay. I will write one. See acceleration. When the particle is moving in the upward direction, is it acceleration or is it is it retardation? Retardation. Retardation. Plus or minus? Minus. minus. Okay. So a value is in in case of a, I will take g. Okay, I will take p square divided by two. Is it correct, all of you? Yes. Okay. Yes. So I will take this is equation number one. Okay. So here my intention is I have to determine the t. Then only I will come to know the value of y. How to determine the t? Equation uh, uh, case number one. Case number one. You see how to how you determine the t by the horizontal velocity. Correct? Ah. U into t. Okay. Okay. so considering considering the horizontal motion horizontal motion horizontal motion so horizontal is x okay what is your initial velocity u cos alpha into t t okay abhi g hai kya horizontal direction mein uniform velocity matlab next term is zero okay from this equation can you determine the t yes. x is equal to x upon t is equal to x upon u 
कॉस अल्फा समझ में आ गए सभी को यस दिस इज यू गॉट द टी वैल्यू नाउ सब्सटीट्यूट दिस टी इन द इक्वेशन नंबर वन सब्सटीट्यूट टी इन इक्वेशन नंबर वन इन इक्वेशन नंबर वन ओके सो वाई वाई इज इक्वल टू यस सब्सटीट्यूट यू साइन अल्फा यू साइन अल्फा इन टू टी है ना सो टी इज इक्वल टू एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय यू कॉस अल्फा हाँ माइनस जी डिवाइडेड बाय टू टी स्क्वेयर टी स्क्वेयर इज नथिंग बट एक्स एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय यू कॉस अल्फा होल स्क्वेयर इज इट करेक्ट अल्फा सो सी यू यू गेट कैंसल ओके रिमेनिंग साइन अल्फा डिवाइडेड बाय कॉस अल्फा x tan alpha yes. so this is equal to x into tan alpha minus okay so g x whole square x square g x square divided by 2 times ha huh? u square u square cos square alpha yes cos square alpha is it correct all of you yes sir yes is it correct or no all of you yes sir. yes sir yes sir yes, yes. next so as per your trigonometric uh, relations okay uh, what is cos alpha that is uh, sec alpha 1 by cos second cos or uh, inversely proportional is it correct then 1 by cos square alpha is equal to it is a sec square alpha correct so we know that we know that 1 plus tan square alpha is equal to alpha is equal to it is second square alpha correct okay i will substitute this value here so therefore therefore this y equation will be equal to x x tan alpha uh, minus g x square divided by 2 this 1 by cos square alpha can be written as 1 plus tan square alpha tan square alpha is it understood everyone half one u square upon u square s yes. सभी को समझ में आया सो दिस इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ द ट्रैजेक्टरी ओके दैट इज एक्स टैन अल्फा माइनस समथिंग दैट इज कांस्टेंट इनटू वन प्लस टैन स्क्वायर अल्फा ओके दिस इज द इक्वेशन फॉर द पैराबोला ओके राइट ऑन दिस दिस इक्वेशन ऑफ पैराबोला दिस इज द इक्वेशन इक्वेशन ऑफ पैराबोला of parabola hence hence the trajectory hence the trajectory the trajectory hence the equation of trajectory hence the hence the equation of trajectory is a parabola is a parabola so this is important multiple choice question Okay, equation of uh, equation for of a trajectory is a it is parabola, cylindrical, spherical, or it is a straight line. This parabola. Okay, you have to remember this equation. So what all you have studied? You have studied vertical motion, you have studied horizontal motion, and you have seen uh, equation of the trajectory. Okay. next fourth one is maximum height maximum height
Is it completed? Okay. So you have this, all of you completed? Okay. Yes, sir. Complete, complete, complete. Those who have completed, take down the next point. I will explain. <coughs> Yes. Okay. So look at the figure. Look at the figure. Okay. So the particle is projected. I want to determine this height. Correct? Huh? This maximum height I have to determine. I will take it as capital H. Okay. How to determine this maximum height? The particle is projected. Okay. In the vertical direction. What is the vertical direction? Initial velocity? U. U or U cos alpha? U sin alpha? U sin alpha in the vertical direction. Initial vertical direction. Okay. In the vertical direction, initial velocity is equal to U sin alpha. Okay. When the particle is moving at a point uh, up to the point C, okay, how much is the velocity? C that is equal to zero. It means that is the maximum height. And after that point, the particle is going to move downward. Okay. It means the final velocity is equal to it is zero. Is it understood? Yes, sir. All of you, is it understood? Yes, sir. Okay. So whatever I have written, when a particle reaches the maximum height, the vertical component of the velocity will be zero. Considering the vertical motion, initial velocity is equal to u sin alpha. Final velocity is equal to, huh? It is zero. zero. Okay. And acceleration. Acceleration is equal to? Minus. Acceleration is equal to minus g, minus g. Then using the equation of the linear motion, using the equation of linear motion, linear motion. Okay, I want to determine the, you know, initial velocity, you know, final velocity. How to determine the uh, uh, h? That is v square minus u square is equal to 2 as correct? Okay. What is final velocity? V? 0. Minus initial velocity? U sin alpha square. So can I read it? It is u square sin square alpha? alpha yes, sir. Is equal to 2. A is minus g? Minus g. Yes, sir. Into s. Yes. Can I take it as h? Okay. I will yes, take it sir. as h. Then... So this minus this minus get cancelled. Then your, my h value is equal to h is equal to yes u square u square sin square alpha divided by two times g. Okay, this is the formula in order to find out the maximum height of projectile. Okay, yes, right on now. These formulas are very very important. H is equal to u square sin square alpha divided by 2g. Hmm. Ut plus r at square. Initial. Ah, ah, t. Wait, t. Pata nahi So we should find out the t value. Sign Sign required to reach the maximum height. Ah, so first of all, we don't know the value of t. Correct, So next point is. 
how to determine the time t that, that is next point okay time required to reach the maximum height that we will see लेके आपने बोल दिया प्लस उसपे किया तो वो भी सेम आंसर आएगा बट दैट इज वेरी लेंथी प्रोसीजर नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज टाइम रिक्वायर्ड फॉर टू रीच मैक्सिमम हाइट That is fifth one. Time required required to reach to reach maximum height to reach maximum height. Okay, हमको T find out करने का What are your linear equations of motion? V is equal to u plus a t, and one more equation is s is equal to u t plus half a t square. S is equal to u t plus half a t square. The t term is square. It is little bit lengthy. Don't consider. And one more is v is equal to u t plus uh, u plus a t. Correct? That is only one term is there. So by considering that equation, we will take. Okay. So using first equation of motion. using first equation first equation of motion of motion that is that is v is equal to u plus at u plus at so what is the final velocity when it reaches to the c point 0 final velocity is equal to 0 Then what is the in equal to initial velocity? U sine, U sine alpha. U sine alpha. And then when it is moving the upward direction, what is the time? Uh, G value minus G. minus G. Then time is t. So I want to find out the t value. So what is t is equal to U sine alpha divided by G. Okay, this is the formula for t. And to reach the maximum height only. To reach maximum height. Are you getting all of you? Yes. Okay. So in the last class, I have explained when you project a any particle, it will. I will explain through the diagram. Okay. So when you throw any stone in the vertical direction, it reaches the maximum height. Correct? In a time t. And it will come back to the original position in a time same t or different t. Same t. Same t. Correct, ah? Correct, ah? So now in this equation here, the projectile is moving from this point to this point. It is maximum height. In a time you have seen that is the you have seen. Then from this c to the particle is coming to the b point. It will take the same t. Correct, ah? Then now can you tell me total time taken by the body or a particle? To complete entire flight journey, two times of t, correct? Capital T is equal to two times of t. Okay, so your answer will be equal to two times of your initial. So total time, total time of flight, time of flight, total time of flight, t is equal to t is equal to two times u sine alpha divided by G is it correct all of you? Yes, sir. Hmm. But see, when a particle is projected to reach the maximum height T, me gaya ten seconds. Sir. So from that point to in order to come to the same point sir, on the ground because ground is level. Okay, when the ground is level at that time, this equation holds good. When the ground is sloping or the rising, in that case, this time is different. Ah, height change किया तो ये time same में ही आएगा. इसको कैसे करने का? T one is separate, T two is separate. Then you have to add. Now what is my case? What I have taken? Case number two. What I have written? देखो, inclined projection on level ground, on level ground. Okay. The time is 
for the upward journey is equal to downward journey. Have you written all of you? Yes, sir. Is it understood? Yes, sir. Okay. So look at the figure. You have seen u. You have seen vertical component velocity. You have seen horizontal component velocity. Maximum height you have seen. Okay. Time of flight also you have seen. What is remaining? Look at the figure. What is remaining? No, at any point P. Acceleration. Okay. Yes. At, what is that? Acceleration. No, no. One, one point is remaining. What is that? Range is remaining. Okay. Range. Have you determined? Have I determined? Range. No. no. Okay. Next point is right on. Third one is range. That is fifth one. Fifth or sixth. That is range. Sixth. Horizontal range. Horizontal range. So in the case of horizontal motion, is it energy at the range? Range is equal to velocity into time. Yes. Correct? All of you. Velocity into time. Yes, sir. Okay. Which um, horizontal velocity uh, range is Horizontal range chahiye, to which velocity will you consider? Will you consider horizontal velocity or vertical velocity? Horizontal. Horizontal velocity. So horizontal velocity into its total time of flight. Okay. Yes, right on. During the time of flight. During the time time of flight during the time of flight projectile moves projectile moves in a horizontal direction in a horizontal direction horizontal direction horizontal direction with uniform velocity with uniform uniform velocity uniform velocity kitna hai uniform velocity u cos alpha u cos alpha hence hence the horizontal distance the horizontal horizontal distance traced by traced by projectile traced by projectile in this time in this in this time in this time is given by is given by r is equal to R is equal to u cos alpha u cos alpha into t. Which type? Small t or capital T? Capital T. Total range. Total range. Type. Total range is equal to total flight. Okay. That is equal to in some of the textbook he has taken small t only. Means small t is equal to he has taken total t. Okay. Substitute u cos alpha. What is t value? 2u sin alpha sin alpha divided by g. So u into u. 2 times u square u square sin alpha sin alpha cos alpha cos alpha divided by g. Correct? What is 2 sin theta cos theta? Sin 2 theta. So what is 2 sin alpha cos alpha? 2 uh, that is u square u square upon g huh, into sin 2 theta oh, sorry sin 2 alpha okay u square sin 2 alpha divided by g is it correct all of you yes, yes sir yes this is the formula to find out the value of range value of range value of range okay you now your task is you have to remember all these formulas. Okay. Have you completed?
have you completed all of you yes yes sir okay see initially object was a okay after projectile after uh, b it has come to the b okay so it may be this is the projectile correct it, it may be this is the projectile or it may be this may be the projectile correct it means at what angle it can give the maximum at what range it will give the maximum angle you have to determine okay it means maximum angle for a required range alpha maximum value of alpha what is the value of alpha okay next point that is seventh point right on seventh one don't write down this one just for your understanding purpose only maximum range is equal to first range maximum range maximum maximum range maximum range find out we know horizontal ah no no first we will find out this maximum range kitna maximum hai baad mein we will find out the value of alpha matlab in order to find out the maximum value of range we should find out the alpha only okay so maximum range is equal to we know horizontal range we know horizontal range horizontal range what is the horizontal range formula r is equal to u square sin 2 alpha divided by g square correct huh? so in order to find out the value of r max g okay okay sir so in order to determine the maximum value of uh, r which one is variable here u is constant g is constant alpha is only variable okay so when sin 2 alpha is equal to maximum what is the sin value is maximum value i am not asking alpha value i am asking when sin is maximum is it what is the range sin range kitna rahta 0 to 1 0 is minimum and 1 is maximum correct huh? it means this r is maximum when only sin 2 alpha is equal to 1 correct correct so when sin 2 alpha is equal to 1 then can you tell me the what is the value of 2 alpha sin inverse of 1 sin inverse of is equal to 90 degree so 2 alpha is equal to 90 degree hua to what is the value of alpha 45 degree so okay whenever you are projecting a particle in an in at an angle of 45 degree then only you will get the maximum value of range maximum value of range if if at all your alpha value is less than 45 degree then you will not get maximum this range you will get minimum uh, less than the maximum if you go beyond the 45 degree then also you will get the minimum value then you, you project a particle at an angle of 45 degree then only you will get the maximum value of range range okay this is a multiple choice question in order to get the maximum value of range what is the angle projected projected that is equal to 45 he will give you the answer 90 also but don't take the 90 okay right on maximum hmm. value range sir now bully sin 2 alpha apne 1 kyun liya ha see idhar dekho ek minute ha ye equation mein ye equation mein r maximum value of r find karne ka barabar yes sir ha u is constant because the particle is projected like this this is constant u g is also constant which one is variable here sin 2 alpha is only variable okay so i when you want the maximum value of r that is sin 2 alpha value is equal to maximum okay so is your one sentence mein likhne ka so to get to get maximum maximum value of r r comma sin 2 alpha sin 2 alpha must be equal to maximum correct ah maximum when sin 2 alpha is equal to maximum when sin 2 alpha is equal to maximum that is equal to 1 correct because the its sin value is maximum it one only and 2 alpha is equal to 90 degree alpha is equal to 45 degree samajh me aa gaye yes okay Thank you.
Have you written? Minimum. No, minimum range कैसे रहता है? अभी एक पॉइंट से नेक्स्ट पॉइंट को जाना है तो, ओके? नहीं माइनस पंद्रह ऐसा क्या? अल्फा वैल्यू सही वैल्यू रेंजिंग फ्रॉम माइनस वन टू प्लस वन हाँ तो जीरो टू वन होते हैं ना वो माइनस वन टू प्लस वन ओके हमको क्या चाहिए जस्ट मैक्सिमम रेंज को चाहिए मैक्सिमम वैल्यू इस दिस रेंज इस मिनिमम कैसे रेंज मिनिमम कर दे व्हेन यू प्रोजेक्ट अ पार्टिकल इट विल अक्यूपाई सम डिस्टेंस हॉरिजॉन्टल डिस्टेंस ओके इट विल अक्यूपाई बट मिनिमम हम नहीं फाइनल नहीं करें इट इस मैक्सिमम कितना पहुंच सकते हैं मिनिमम जीरो कर सकते हैं फिर मिनिमम है जीरो होता है ओके एक मिनट मिनिमम किया तो जीरो होता है साइन टू अल्फा इक्वल टू जीरो टू अल्फा इक्वल टू जीरो अल्फा इक्वल टू जीरो समझ में आया यू आर Ah, okay. Next eighth one. Angle of projection for the required range. Eighth one is angle of projection. Angle of projection. Projection for for required for a required range. For required range. See what he is asking means the same point you have today. Okay. Yes, this is the point object. The object is initially it is projected from the point. Ha, huh, kahan se? A se. Okay. It is projected and it is reaching to the ground at B. Okay. So this is one alpha. I will take this alpha one. When you project it is one more alpha, okay, one more alpha, it is coming to the same point. It is minimum value of alpha. This is maximum value of alpha. Okay, it means the range is given for the alpha. Okay, so whenever you project a project a any particle, it will go okay at two values of alpha. At the maximum value of alpha, at the minimum value of alpha. Okay, for that particular range. Okay, what is that value of alpha? We will find out. So we know that. Okay, don't write down anything. Just consider. We know what is the range formula. What is the range? U square by v square by g into sine two alpha. Correct, huh? all of you. So yes. I will take sine two alpha is equal to sine two alpha is equal to r g divided by u square. Is it correct? Yes, sir. Yes, all of you. Is it correct? Yes, sir. Yes. So sine two alpha, sine two alpha can be written as sine of sine of one eighty minus one eighty minus two alpha. Is it correct? Sir, ninety minus I got na ninety minus two alpha. Sine ninety minus two. I why I write that? What happens? Cos happens, na? Cos happens. Ninety minus. Ninety minus. Quadrant check. Quadrant check happens, na? One eighty minus two alpha is sine two alpha. Sine theta is equal to sine one eighty minus theta. Both are same. Okay, you can check your mathematics. Okay, there are two values of alpha. There are two values of alpha. Values of alpha. Okay, so first one is sine two alpha. Then remaining one is this is one alpha. So which are given by two times of alpha one is equal to two alpha. This is first alpha is I am taking this one. Sine two alpha one is equal to sine two alpha. So this implies alpha one is equal to alpha value. Okay, this is one. Then remaining is sine two alpha two is equal to this remaining. So that is equal to one eighty minus two times of alpha. It means alpha two is equal to ninety minus ninety minus alpha. Okay, whenever you project a any particle, suppose this particle is projected at an angle of twenty degree. Okay, then what is the another angle? Ninety minus alpha, ninety minus twenty. So the another angle will be equal to seventy. Okay, then only it will reach from this point to to this point. If if at all you are projecting a particle, particle at an angle of eighty degree, at an angle of eighty degree. Okay, 
at this range if you project one more particle at the same range okay in order to come to the same range kitna project karne ka angle that is 10 degree okay this is the minimum angle and that is the maximum angle okay दो वैल्यू चाहिए सो हियर आई एम टेकिंग अल्फा वन इज वन अल्फा ओके अल्फा टू इज अनदर अल्फा दैट वैल्यू इज नाइनटी माइनस अल्फा रहने का दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट हाँ यस यस ऑल ऑफ यू कंसिडर ओके द डाउट इज हियर हियर डाउट है इधर तक आ गए वी नो दैट रेंज इज इक्वल टू यू स्क्वे साइन टू अल्फा डिवाइड बाई जी सभी को समझ में आ गए ये रेंज वैल्यू यस सर यस देन इधर से मैंने क्या लिखा है साइन टू अल्फा वैल्यू लिखा है दैट इज इक्वल टू इधर क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई किया आर जी डिवाइड बाई यू स्क्वेयर ओके सो इधर क्या आ गए साइन टू अल्फा सो साइन टू अल्फा इज इक्वल टू दिस कॉन्स्टेंट है दिस इज इक्वल टू कॉन्स्टेंट करेक्ट ना कॉन्स्टेंट सो साइन टू अल्फा कैन बी रिटर्न एज साइन ऑफ 180 minus 2 alpha yes okay it means this equation is having two roots two values okay so if i consider first value is 2 alpha 1 sin 2 alpha is equal to this is equal to sin 2 alpha okay this first one sin 2 alpha 1 is equal to this value then 2 alpha is equal to 1 is equal to 2 alpha so here ye dono ko compare kar diya maine 2 alpha 1 is equal to 2 alpha so this means alpha 1 is equal to alpha i then remaining is for this equation i will i am taking sin of 2 alpha 2 okay second equation i am comparing these two equation that is 2 alpha 2 is equal to 180 minus 2 alpha where so i want alpha 2 value 90 minus 2 so derivation don't worry but you should remember for each and every range there are two value of alpha one is minimum value and one is maximum value and the minimum and maximum kitna rahne ka so minimum if at all given a range is angle is alpha hai to maximum kitna rahega next one more is 90 minus alpha yes very good samajh pa rahe hai sabhi ko yes sir derivation is not okay okay so if at all derivation aapko samajh mein nahi aaye to don't worry aapko samajh mein ye aane ka whenever you are projecting any particle if at an angle of alpha then in order to cover the same range you can project 90 minus alpha also ओके okay. समझ में सभी को यस सर यू रिटर्न दिस वन ओके ओके हैव नॉट रिटर्न इवन ओके सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द केरोटिकल पार्ट सी दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट है horizontal projection and it is inclined projection inclined projection on horizontal ground this is very maximum questions you can expect in the case 2 only case 1 and case 2 yes i will take this rule number 1 i am not seeing it at the uh, list okay just i am calling the roll number you have to give the response the other way i will make you as absent roll number 1 absent madhura are you present or absent i will take it as absent hmm madhura chavan next roll number 2 present sir 3 Present sir. Four. Present sir. 
टेन प्रेजेंट सर इलेवन इलेवन ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व थर्टीन थर्टीन फोर्टीन प्रेजेंट सर प्रेजेंट फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन अपसेंट सेवेंटीन सेवेंटीन एटीन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी सर कितना नाइनटीन प्रेजेंट आदित्य क्लास कौन आए हैं उधर ही बैठे क्या नाइनटीन नाइनटीन आदित्य हाँ इधर ही सर ओके ट्वेंटी प्रेजेंट ट्वेंटी वन प्रेजेंट ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री प्रेजेंट सर ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव प्रेजेंट ट्वेंटी सिक्स प्रेजेंट सर ट्वेंटी सेवन ट्वेंटी एट See why you are making too late not to give your uh, response. Twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty thirty four, thirty four. Thirty present, sir. Thirty four. Thirty four present. Thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty thirty eight, thirty eight. Forty. Forty one, forty two, forty three, forty four, forty five, forty six, forty seven, fifty eight, forty nine, fifty, fifty one, fifty two, fifty three, fifty four, fifty five, fifty six, fifty seven, fifty eight, fifty nine, sixty, sixty one, sixty three, sixty four, sixty five, sixty six, sixty seven, sixty eight, sixty nine, sixty ten, sixty eleven, sixty twelve, sixty thirteen, sixty fourteen, sixty fifteen, sixty sixteen, sixty seventeen, sixty eighteen, sixty nineteen, sixty twenty, sixty twenty one, sixty twenty two, sixty twenty three, sixty twenty four, sixty twenty five, sixty twenty six, sixty twenty seven, sixty twenty eight, sixty twenty nine, sixty twenty, sixty twenty one, sixty twenty two, sixty twenty three, sixty twenty four, sixty twenty five, sixty twenty six, sixty twenty seven, sixty twenty eight, sixty twenty nine, sixty twenty, sixty twenty one, sixty twenty two, sixty twenty three, sixty twenty four, sixty twenty five, sixty twenty six, sixty twenty seven, sixty Eighteen present. Okay, next. Sir, thirty present. Thirty present. Ah, huh. thirteen is absent. Rule number one, Madhura Chawan. Why you cannot uh, unmute yourself? Is there? So present day, but uh, you are not giving this one. Okay. Can I solve one more pro one problem? Yes. Okay. 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 Last class. Okay. I can understand. Yes. No problem. Okay. So whatever points I wanted to tell, I have told. Okay. That is the section. Ah, uh, inclined level ground. Okay. Inclined projection on level ground. So tomorrow we will solve the problems on the same things. Okay. Is it clear, everyone? So when you are coming for the tomorrow class in the morning, I have given one problem. Those who are not solved, you have to solve the first one. Then you have to write all these formula once again. Formula. Take in your last page of notebook. Last page of your notebook. Write down all the formulas of this chapter only. Kinematics, dynamics. Me, both chapter of the formula. Okay, write down all this. So just for the practice purpose. No, only dynamics. Me. Abi dynamics me. Kahan se aaye? The equation of motion se aaye. Then linear motion ka aaye. Angular ka aaye. Then projectile ka aaye. Okay. So write down all these formulas so that you, whenever you are studying, you just go through those formulas. Because a formula they got. Equation of motion s is equal to u t plus half t square b is equal to u plus a t. Up second tenth twelfth se up no kada. Okay. That is easy for you to remember. But these equations are somewhat different. Hai. Okay. It is difficult to remember these formula. So that for that reason you write down these formulas. And if possible. Write it and stick it in your on your wall. Daily you have to watch it, and sometimes direct formula will be asked in your exam. Identify which one is the correct formula for the range, for the time of flight. I see we who sakte. So, आपको ऐसे तभी इधर आपको confuse हो जाएगा. So range u square by g square है क्या और u square by g है. ऐसे confuse होते हैं. Sin two alpha है क्या cos two alpha है ऐसे भी confuse होते हैं. इसके लिए आप लोग perfect होने पर. Is it clear all of you? Yes, yes. Okay. So, by noting that point, we'll stop now. We'll continue in the next lecture. Okay. Okay. Bye.